Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is find all possible paths from top to bottom. So as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part, right? So the problem says given a n cross m grid, find all possible paths from top left to bottom right. From each cell, you can either move only to right or down. Right. So basically, we are having a grid of size n cross m. We have to find all the paths from top left. So top left, basically, you can see it's our source to the destination. Their destination is bottom right. So now we are having these two options to explore. So what are those? That we can either move to right or down. So just right or down. These two options we are having. So basically, it's a normal uh, DFS thing that we can apply here, right? And having two options for exploration. That is, we can move to right. Or to the down. So let's understand the same with the help of an example, right? So the example is input we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the source, this is the source, and this is the destination, right? So what we can do is see. Either you can see we can move to the right or to the down. So if we are moving to the down, so one, then four, then five, then six, right? So we have reached to the destination. Then we can take another path that is one, two, five, six. Or one, two, three, six, right? So here in this problem, like it's a basically like we must have understood. Uh, so DFS approach we're gonna use. Also, the thing is we have to take care of boundaries, the edge cases that we're not moving out of the bounds, right? So here you can see we can see that there are three possible paths from the cell zero, zero, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. So for this we are having these paths one, two, four, one, three, four. Okay. So what our task is that. Uh, Basically, our task is to complete the function, find all possible paths which takes two integers and m and grid as input parameters and returns all possible paths from the top left cell to bottom right cell in a 2D array. Expected time complexity is big of 2 power n cross m. Expected auxiliary space is big of n. These are the constants given. Now, if you will check the topic text, so this is basically backtracking problem, right? Or uh, belonging to the matrix as well. So, uh, what we have to do will I hope the problem statement is clear and somehow the logic part is still there in your mind that basically what we are supposed to do. So let's, uh, what we can do is we can quickly jump to the code part and there itself we can understand that what we are doing in this problem. Very straightforward problem it is. So see, uh, first of all, the thing is we have to explore the paths. So for this, we are taking this path array list, right? So to storing the individual path that the valid path that we are having and we have to return array list of array list. So this is the answer that we are going to return at the end. So here we have taken this function helper, which is taking C. We have to start from 0, 0 elements. So 0, comma 0, we are passing grade, path, answer, and n, n, m values we are passing to this function. Now in this function, first of all, we have to check the boundary cases. So here we are checking that if i value has become greater than or equal to n or j value has become greater than or equal to m. So these are invalid condition right so we have to simply return we are we are moving out of the bounds if this if any of this condition is true right and if this is not the case then what we are doing is okay if this is not the case and then what we are doing is we are simply adding that particular ijth element to our path right and then see we were having two options either to move down or to the right so first of all we are exploring the down part right so helper i uh, i plus one see when you have to move down so we are going to increment the value of i so that's what we are doing here i plus one j grid path answer and m these are the values that we are passing okay and the next possibility that we can do is we can explore the right path so for that we have to increment the value of c i value will remain constant j value will increase so here we are implementing the value of j right and c when you uh, you will come to know that okay one path explanation is done so when i value will become equal equal to that of n minus 1 and j value will become equal equal to that of m minus 1 it means we have reached to the destination so we are going to add if we you have reached to the destination it means we are going to add that particular ith element to the path this is our destination and then what we're going to do is so here we have added this path the specific path that we have got to our answer variable right to our answer array list of array list and here see now after you have got 1 2 3 Five, six, like whatever it is, one, two, three, five, whatever it was. Or uh, let me mention here itself. So let's say uh, we here what we have done is we have added, uh, we have over this part. Let's say one, two, three, six, right? So 
now what we're going to do is after adding this path to our answer what we're going to do is we are going to remove this six that's what that's what we are doing is we are removing this particular element then see from here as well see we are out of the bound so we're going to remove this three as well then we have one two so then one two we can explore this five then six right so that's what we are doing here is okay that's what we are doing here that we are exploring parts the valid parts and we are adding them to the answer right so that's what the complete code is here so i hope that you must have understood the code is right in the description even so you can just check it from there as well for the reference purpose it's there and this is in java uh if you understood the approach then i believe then you can uh, code it in any the any of the language that you are comfortable with so thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye